Pour it out. A lot of these owls around here. A lot of these owls around here. Also a cavity nester, meaning they use a cavity to nest. There's a lot of these guys. They've actually made an amazing comeback. And you find a lot of these owls around here. 90% of these owls that come in, the problem is they get hit by cars. The problem is they stay here all winter long. And when they stay here all winter long, everything they eat is under two foot of snow. And they're not above a roadkill in the winter. When things get tough, I'll eat a roadkill in the winter time. And, and these owls, people tell me all the time, it just sweats, it just sat in the road. And it takes them 30 seconds to dilate their pupils. So they have this ability, like I told you, where they can see seven times better at night because they can dilate their pupils. When you hit them with the headlights, it takes them 30 seconds to do that. So they sat there and they get hit by cars. The problem with this owl is he was hit by a car. And the person that found him, hit him, whatever, took him to another wildlife rehabilitator that wasn't federally licensed. I have 17 licenses to do what I do. The only license I actually don't have is venomous snakes. And I had a really bad experience with a really big snake once and I don't want to play with them anymore. So I don't have the license and I figure if I don't have the license, they can't bring it to me. This owl was, had his leg put into a, you can see what's going on here if I hold him up. He had his leg uh, put into traction to fix it. And the person that did it didn't know what they were doing and they said it wrong. So by the time that the person brought it to me, and said, hey, Wes, can you fix this owl? I said, oh my God, what do you do to its leg? And they said, well, we put it in a brace. And I said, well, you put it in a brace wrong. So now it's like this for the rest of its life. So it healed wrong, but he doesn't work too hard. And uh, he can't go back into the wild because obviously you can't hunt and you can't survive with one leg, basically functional. All right, all right, all right. Totally depends on the bird. 